Hey there guys, I'm Jake, Defensive Gamer, and this is The House Abandon. And, uh, I don't really know much except for what I saw on the trailer on Itch.io. Um, it seems to be like an 80s, um, uh, what's the right word, uh, influenced, uh, game. I think that there might be some capitalizing off Stranger Things, potentially. Uh, but that's cool with me, I like that show, and, um, I've always liked this sort of aesthetic to it. I like synth music, I think I've said that a million times on this channel. Um, this is like a, a choose-your-own-adventure sort of story from what I've seen. Um, so yeah, we're uh, gonna go ahead and get started. There's a lot of reading, so if you're not into that sort of thing, uh, don't watch this, I guess. Uh, so yeah. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's, an idyllic as, it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Huh. Look around. It's a nice clean car, not much to see, but there is a glove box. Right, so I can like enter in um, different ideas. So that that's uh, a really interesting part about this game. Now, in the introduction, it tells you like four different things are in particular are your friends or are your friend. Um, I only remembered one of them though. So, uh, this might be a bit of a, a trial and a tribulation sort of thing going on here, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. In any case, uh, it's a nice clean car, not much to see, but there is a glove box. Alright, look in the glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Uh, read the note. The note's from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Alright, something in the attic. Uh, I might need to write some of this shit down just in case. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of note cards, so we're gonna do that. Look in attic. I'm trying to remember that. Look in attic. <laughs> the fact that I'm right. This is fun. I haven't had to like write down notes for a game since I was like 12, so this is actually pretty cool. Okay, so, uh, press key, any key to continue. Uh, wait, okay, so you'll need to fire up the generator. Fire up generator is the other thing. Fire up generator. Okay. Uh, you're sitting in the car, parked in the driveway, and, uh, you have taken a note and key from the glove box. Um, get out of the car? Uh, eh. We wanted to say get out. Yeah, because I've already re uh, read the note. You get out of the car and stretch your legs. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches uh, around the back of the house. Um, huh. And the yard stretches around the back of the house. So maybe... Um, first of all, let's try to look around. Trees stretch uh, to the night sky. There is the house and the yard. Uh... Look through the yard. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Um, uh, shit. Uh, walk around, maybe? No? Okay. Uh, front door. Hmm. Use the key. You insert the key and turn. Uh, the door lock clicks open. Open the door. You enter the house of the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Alright. Turn on the light. What? Hmm. You feel a light switch next to... Flip the switch. A click and nothing. There's no power. Right. Uh, the note should say how to restore it. And I checked the note, so... Um go outside? No, okay, go out. I think I accidentally pressed space. You head back outside. Uh, 
uh, in front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the back of the house. Okay, here we go. Uh, you walk around to the yard. Uh, you spend a lot of time here with your fr uh, family on holiday trips. Good memories. Um, look for generator. How about now? Son of a bitch. Okay, so I walk through the yard. I don't know, man. That That's tough. I, I mean, I finally managed to find something, but I don't know the correct wording to be able to use here. I need to fire up the generator. I just don't know how to get to the generator, right? Because he said it was in the in the yard. Um, you see a generator on the back wall of the house. Okay, turn on the generator. There we go. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Huh. Right, okay, so... Um, Open door? No, okay. Uh, go to front yard. Yeah, not yard, you idiot. Hmm. Leave. It, Jesus Christ. Leave. No, okay. How do I go back now? Go back? <laughs> okay, you go back around to the front of the house. Um, open door? Enter the house. Okay. Uh, flip. Switch. You switch the lights on. Okay, the hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Now, what did what was in the uh, attic? I can't remember. There's no way to skip this, I don't think, so I kind of just have to kind of go back through it. Uh, also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Oh, oh, I don't need to go to... I'm an idiot. I don't need to look in the attic. I need to go to my room. All right, whatever. Anyway, so hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen, uh, which is tidy and well kept. There's a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Hmm. So there's nothing else around? Very clean and tidy, not being used in a while. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, open fridge, maybe? Nope, that's not an option. Okay. Uh, go to utility room. Utility room is locked, son of a bitch. Okay, so uh, maybe just leave then? No? Leave isn't an option? Huh. Okay, board, you go back to the hallway. So maybe exit's the right one. Um, I, I might have forgotten what the proper term was, but exit works there. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down so I remember that's a proper keyword. Okay, so uh, board, you go back to the hallway. Um, go to... Ugh, stupid typing. What? Go to living room. Okay, you go to the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. There's nothing here of interest. Okay. Exit. So now exit doesn't work. Alright, that's annoying. Hmm. Go to hallway. Okay, go back in the hallway. So now, go up stairs. Okay, you make your way upstairs. The stairwell landing. Um, there is a bathroom. The two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Okay, so go to bedroom. Meh. Mine. Okay, you go into. I like that it does that. Uh, go into your bedroom. Um, so many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Open box. Yeah, not Botox, you idiot. You open the present excitedly. Uh, you can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A f uh, Futuro 128K? I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't born in the 80s, so I don't know. Uh, it's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Um, turn on? 
I mean, it's probably not plugged in, but fuck it. Let's try. No? With a tape loader and a copy of the House of... Oh, hmm, this is very meta. <laughs> okay, it's a Futuro 128K with a tape loader and a copy of the uh, of the House Abandoned. So I'm playing the game, which is playing the game right now is essentially what's going on at this exact moment. Um, so maybe we can look around the room a little bit and get an idea. Uh, use the phone? No? <laughs> okay, I thought maybe. Use computer. Okay, you untangle the cables and set up the computer. Uh, computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Turn on game. Uh, turn on computer. No? Look at game. New horror game called The House Abandoned. Looks ace. <laughs> uh, use game. Put the cassette in the computer and press play. I think I just broke the game. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa. Oh shit, what'd I do? I, I think I just broke the universe. <laughs> um, you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's a dark, uh, it's dark, but it's clearly neglected. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's a dark, but it's clearly neglected. Uh, you remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Ah, so things are a little bit more creepy now. All right, check the glove box. What? Come on now. Seriously? I, I literally retyped what it said. Okay. Glove box. No? Alright. Open glove box. Thank you. There's a note and a key, both of which you take. Read the note. This kind of reminds me of um, Oxenfree, almost. Uh, is the game... It's not like thematically the same, but just, I don't know, in terms of tone, setting, um... And a little bit of fourth wall breakage. It's it's very similar in that aspect. Not to mention the music. All right, read the note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, "Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, uh, get out of the car, uh, get out, get out." <laughs> okay. Um, what now? Uh, you sat slumped in the car. You have a note clutched in one hand and a key in the other. You need to get out, but you don't really want to. Get out of car. You reluctantly exit the car. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Well, shit. Um, okay. Uh, look around for maybe, like, maybe further. Uh, you stand at the door to the house. It's imposing. Uh, it's imposing an awful feeling. Um, open door. Door's locked. Use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Okay. Open door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This cannot be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read notes. Too dark to read, but it feels weird to touch. Turn. I don't think this is going to work, but we'll try. Turn on light. There's no power to the light generator. Must be off. Go outside. Go back outside. Um, what did I say before to get me to go to the backyard? Okay, you step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown. The weeds or and weeds crawl off the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. There's an old generator next to you. Turn on generator. This is cool. I like this. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. All right. Leave. You go back to the front of the house. Okay, so um, this also remembers... Or er, remembers. Reminds me of... Um, son of a bitch. I think it came out in 2014, I believe. It was uh, like that murder mystery game. Um, 
very like it, it had like real people in it. It was like actual actor, an actual actor um, in, in in the game as opposed to like a, a voice acting over an animation. Um, I just can't remember what it was called off the top of my head. Uh, her story. It, this reminds me a lot of her story as well, um, for obvious reasons. Like the mechanics are identical. Okay, so I go back to the front of the house. Uh, open door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Uh, turn on light. Switch the light on, but wish you hadn't. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and Oh, shit. Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock glaring. Somewhere else in someone else is in the house. That can't be. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Read the note. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Uh, uh, leave. Fuck, I, I misspelled it. I can't. There's nothing I can do. Make, make it stop. Stop. There we go. Okay. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You're still in the uh, hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel present. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. I really wish I checked out my sister's room now. Fuck. Okay, go to kitchen. I really like that whole stop thing. Like, it said on the alarm clock, stop. So, I don't know. I thought that was really neat. Okay, you go into the kitchen. Um, it stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The table stop, uh, tabletops are rustled metal, and there's a carcass on the table. Wow. All right. There is writing on the wall, and the utility room door has red X painted on it. Look at carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Touch carcass. Absolutely not. It might be an animal, but you aren't. Okay, fine. How about this? Eat carcass. <laughs> You're disappointed in yourself for even going there. Fuck you. No? Alright, fine. It's not playing with me anymore. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, look around. That's pretty funny. I like that. Uh, the number 1985 is written across the wall in... Fucking A! All right, and what looks like blood. Okay, 1985. No? Okay, I thought maybe. No? No? I don't know. I'm just trying to see if there's like little Easter eggs here. Okay, so, um... Oh! Well, there you go. Right there. And the walls are bleeding. The walls are ble... Okay. Um, there is running on the wall, and the utility room has a red X painted on it. Look at red X. You assume it's paint? Yeah, must be paint. Feels like the note. Read note. Paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. Okay. Uh, you can just make out the words. There is nothing for you. Or, uh, there's nothing for you here. Huh. Okay. Open utility room. No? Go to utility room. Doors locked. Something tells you that's a good thing. Leave. Oh my god. Exit. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Okay, you're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Blah, blah, blah. Um, can I read again? Can't read the note. It's bleeding. Well, that's fucking disgusting. Look at shoes. Because it said the shoes were wet. I resume because of blood. But I'm going to hope that's not the case. Nope. Alright, doesn't matter. Uh, go to living room. You enter the living room. Uh, although hardly an appropriate term. Uh, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit in your stomach. This is not a nice place. Um, sit on furniture. Furniture looks disgusting. There's no way you would sit on it. Sit anyway. Well, fuck you then. Um, read note. The note always changing now reads, get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. All right. Um, leave living room. Come on, hurry up. Nope, exit. Alright. Go upstairs. 
We're going to check out my sister's room this time. Because I didn't do that. Not to mention, I think there was something else as well. You head up the stairs to where the noise came from. I'm hearing something. Same but different. The fuck behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand, neither can he. Answer phone. Neither can he. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. I wish to spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. Whoever, uh, you need to hang up the phone. I, uh, I do whatever. Consider the worst. Answer. You can't hear yourself think it's too much. Voices spill out of the phone in, uh, okay. Okay. Relief. Someone's behind the door. The doors are still, uh, boarded up with the exception of your room. You have to get in. The pictures look different from before. The note trembles. Uh, the guilt is overwhelming. Uh, read notes. Note is not clean again. Simply reading, get in, get out. You have to go through with it. All right. Go to room. Can we... Doors bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. 1985. All right, uh, enter 1985. Fuck. Uh, look at lock. Hmm. Four digit combination lock. Fuck. Go to room. Enter combination. Okay, you grab the lock, uh, which is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, uh, the note heavier. You grab the lock and now input the code. God damn, I keep doing that. You need a working four digit code, that, but that's what. Enter 1985. That is a four digit code. What do you want of me? Okay, right, so the number 1985 is written across the wall. Is that 90... Is that 86? Oh, is it 1986? Oh, shit, I thought it was... Okay, exit. Alright, go. I'm an idiot. There's gotta be a skipping function, I just haven't found it or something. Okay, grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not using years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. Grab the lock and now input the code. 1986. Okay. The lock clicks open. That was miscommunication on my part. Uh, someone is behind the door. The doors are all boarded up with the exception of... Wait, what? The lock clicks open. Open door. Oops. Okay. You open the bedroom door. Someone is behind the door. Oh, so, okay. I think I get what's going on. Like, I'm controlling the character. And I'm me. This is fucking weird. Okay. Um... Go inside. No. Go in bedroom. You enter the bedroom. It feels utterly familiar. This is so cool. It feels utterly familiar. Uh, the walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 19 or 99.99. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Don't change the subject. You know what you have to do. Turn. God damn it. Do it. Kill, kill the person. Kill, is that what you want? Kill person. You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It's not my fault. Oh, please stop. It was my fault. Say it. No. Just say it. No. No. 
was your fault. <laughs> um, leave. <laughs> Exit. 1980s... 86. <laughs> Alright, fine. You win. It was all my fault. Finally. Is that it? Huh. Alright, that's interesting. I don't know if there there's probably like multiple ways I could have done this game. Um Probably. I, I it may just be that. I feel like I kind of just did whatever the game told me the whole time, and if I hadn't, maybe there would have been a different outcome. Uh, but this is a really neat game. I like this. This was fun. Um, this is, uh, by the way, this is free on Itch.io. It's uh, currently like the most popular game on the website. If you want to go ahead and take a look at it, you can download it and play it yourself. Um, it costs nothing, absolutely nothing. This is a, I know it's not like a very complex game, but it's very impressive, like in terms of production value. Um, gra like, it's just one screen. But nonetheless, graphically, it looks really nice. Um, it has a cool sort of meta aspect to it that breaks the fourth wall constantly. I fucking love the music. Um, atmospherically, it's really well done. Um, yeah, there's just, there's a lot to like about this little game, even though it's, it doesn't have a lot to it. it. It's really, really something. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, uh, leave you here. Uh, sorry I didn't go into the sister's room. Um, but yeah, I might go ahead and actually, you know what, I'm gonna play this one more time real quick, and I'm gonna see if there's any alternative stuff I can do, at least initially. I'm gonna see if I can, like, drive away, or some, like, weird shit like that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, see you guys in a second. Alright, so we're gonna do a little bit more backstory here. So I'm going into the bathroom. Um, you're in the bathroom, there's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Uh, look around. Bathroom is clean, a large mirror sits above the sink. Look at mirror. It's your reflection, looking good. Open mirror, it might be one of those. No? Okay, leave. Return to the hallway. Go to room. Hmm. Uh, bedroom? Your room or your sister's? Okay, you go into your sister's bedroom. You enter what used to be Jennifer's room. It's empty now and has been for years. It is remarkably dust-free, considering. Look around. It's completely empty. Completely, like, absolutely empty. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, that's all there is to this, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so, as I said already, um, really cool, interesting, fun... Uh, experience, especially considering it costs no money whatsoever. I'm sure I miss some stuff um, because I, I guess I'm, I'm fairly unimaginative, at least in this playthrough. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys feel like there's anything I could have uh, taken a look at, um, go ahead and download the game yourself and uh, play it. And uh, let me know if there's anything I may have missed. Otherwise, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys next time. And then, like, just, just fucking smashes the roof of your house and kills you. I don't, I don't think your bungee cords are gonna help too much in that situation. All right, so you got two levers. Holy fuckeroni! What was that? Okay, I jumped on a, jumped on a, a bear trap there. That's fantastic.